Hello friends, in this session we'll discuss about B plus tree insertion. So we've already done it with an even branching factor. In this session we'll discuss about a odd branching factor, how the situation changes when we have an odd branching factor. So uh, the branching factor that I've taken for this example is 5 and the elements to be inserted are these. So uh, essentially I've taken the same set of elements. So order is 5 since the branching factor is 5. So now the maximum pointers in an internal node, maximum pointers in an internal node are 5 and minimum pointers will be ceiling function of 5 by 2 which is 3. Similarly maximum search keys will be 5 minus 1 which is 4 and minimum search keys will be 3 minus 1 which is 2. So we've already discussed the essential basics or these concepts in the first very video of B plus trees. In case you have not gone through it, please go through it once. You can please find it in the same playlist. So let's discuss for now. Let's discuss the question over here. Let's see how the insertion uh, process begins. So um, we need to insert these elements. So we start with the first element. We just insert 30. So we know that the maximum search keys in any node now are 4. And whenever the fifth element will come, the split will occur. Right. So I need to insert the first element. My first element is 30. I just inserted my first element over here. Right. So this is my node. Now count is less than 2 right but root and uh, so what we can say is that in this case in this case this is root and leaf node right so uh, therefore this exception is allowed which exception we all uh, we already studied the concept that the minimum search keys should be two right but it is always allowed for the root key uh, for the root and leaf node when there is only one single node in the tree which is root as well as leaf node then this exception is allowed that the count can also be count of search keys can also be less than two then we need to insert the next element so the next element was 15 so we insert 15 but we maintain the order we arrange them in the ascending order and then we insert this node 15 now again we insert the third element 20 since the, since the limit is 4 so we can just continue with the insertion and maintain the order of the nodes of the search keys i must say and then we insert 50 which is the next element this is the node structure after the insertion of 50 finally we insert 25 now the maximum the search keys were maximum number of search keys allowed in a node were 4 so this was i would say the node is filled completely full over here and after uh, when i start the insertion of 25 a split will occur now how to split it in this case what we do is we first insert this element then perform the split so we insert this element over here we find out this is the middle element so this should become the parent so we uh, move this to a higher level and this is the node structure after the insertion of 25 okay so this is the node structure a small correction over here uh, we all um, we should know that all the search elements all the search keys should be present at the lowest level of your tree so although i moved this 25 at a higher level but i would also retain a copy of the same element uh, in my last level right now since the second level is um is the last level so i have to retain 25 over here now i can write down this 25 either in my left branch or the right branch but as you already know we have also discussed in the first video that um the right hand side elements are more than or equal to the parent so 25 will always come over here right so what i do over here is i write 25 over here so this node will be 25 30 50 more clearly it would be like 25 then 30 and then 50 these are the end pointers which are marked to null since there is no new element right now.
so we can just cross out this node. So then we proceed with the insertion of next element. So this is my node. Right hand sides, right hand side elements are more than or equal to 25. Left hand side elements are less than 25. And next we proceed with the next elements insertion which is 65. When we insert 65 obviously it will go to the right hand side of 25 because the right hand side elements are more than 65 and clearly 65 is more than 25. So we just insert it in the order in which it comes that is if we arrange the elements in the ascending order it will come towards the end. Next we insert 55. And again, 55 is again more than 25, so it will again to the right, uh, go to the right hand side branch and it will lead to a split because the right hand side node was already full, right? So it will lead to a split. Now, again, we insert the elements, we find out which is the middle element, we move it towards the, towards the higher level and make it the parent. So now this is very interesting. Then you move it. Um, up uh, at an uh, at a higher level what you do is you know that uh, between 25 and 50 there uh, there is basically one element 30 but you also have to retain a copy of 25 so there will be two elements 25 and 30 and then on the right hand side of 50 you will get all the elements more than 50 and another uh, copy of 50 because this is the last level and you need to return uh, you need to retain one copy of each of the elements present at the higher level so in the similar manner you continue with the insertion of 60 which will again come to the right hand side of 50 then you insert 85 again a split occurs over here 60 goes to a higher level this is the tree structure so I advise you to practice this uh, entire question at your end and then you can, you know, you can again recheck the video, recheck your steps by going through the video once again. But don't just uh, try to memorize this entire thing. Uh, just try to follow the concept, understand the video very clearly and then do it again at your end and then you can just verify the steps or the three structures at various steps. So that is the main motive I have why I have you know chosen to uh, show the complete insertion from step 1 to the towards the end so that you can practice it completely so now next we have the insertion of 80 it is again in the similar manner so um, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm moving towards the end where the root also gets split so slowly and slowly we just keep on inserting the elements and now at this stage when the root node becomes full and when we insert the next element 70 what happens is there will be a split in the root node now so 60 becomes the middle element you just move it towards the higher level and what you do is these will become the left childs these will become the right childs left childs right childs now if i insert this 60 over here then is it necessary is it correct the answer is no because we had we had to actually retain the copy of 60 at the last level so i have to retain its copy at the last level so i'll be inserting that 60 over here on the left hand side of 70 because 60 is less than 70 so uh, just make sure you clear yourselves at this concept you need to uh, retain the copy of all the elements occurring in your b plus 3 at the last level right and uh, that doesn't mean you need to uh, you know uh, retain their duplicate copies at the intermediate levels as well no so this is very important this is very important step that i had to discuss so that's all for this session in the next session i'll be taking up some more questions on b plus trees some more videos on structural hazards some more topics on recoverable schedules and some more questions on normalization with bcnfsl so uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up thank you all the best